Hello everybody! Welcome to how to install RPG mod. This is a video I should have done a long time ago, so apologies for how long it's taken for me to do this. Okay, we're going to start our a little journey from the forum, and specifically the RPG mod official thread in FPSC chat. Now, you should be either watching this video on this thread or via YouTube, and if it is via YouTube then Hopefully I've remembered to put the link below. Okay, once you've got to the thread, there are two downloads you really need to make. First one is the version that you want. Uh, so there are three versions available, which kind of link to the last version of the stock uh, FPS creator. So we have version 118, 119, and the latest beta. Um the last beta that I released is, uh, is revision 674 uh, and hopefully the next version which is revision 680 should be available soon. Um, one point I will make is that when you're installing the RPG mod version make sure you've also installed the stock version because there, there will be various assets in the stock version that RPG mod uses. Okay, so that's that's the first thing you need to download. Uh, the second thing are the additional installation files, which are can be found here. Uh, you may also need to install this DLL, which can be found here, but not everybody needs that, so you only need to do that if you have trouble with the, the encrypt executable, which we'll go about later. Um, the user manual, if you want to download it separately, is available via this little download link here, but I've also grouped it into, um, I think, the latest version anyway of uh, the latest version of RPG mod. Okay, so we will start installing via the the sort of root FPS creator directory, um, which will look something like this. Um, the first thing you really need to do is copy the FPSC game executable. Now, what I tend to do is put the version number in front, but you can do whatever you want. But here you've got, I've got various versions of the FPSC game, which I keep here. And then if I want to use one of these versions, I simply copy this, delete that, and then remove the the prefix. But you can you can use whatever system you want, but just make sure you copy it because RPG mod will replace this and um, then you won't have your original FPSC or the stock version of FPSC ever again unless you sort of re-download the, the update. Okay, so where shall we start? So we'll start with the RPG mod installation files. You'll see four things. Uh, really, it's only the top two you need. This executable is an old, old version of RPG mod, which I, I should have removed, but I've just kept. And then there's the old version of the of the user manual, which you can do whatever you want with. So the first thing you need to do is copy these two folders into the files folder within your FPS creator folder. And you can see I've copied them here, RPG underscore mod and RPG files. RPG files is, is something that isn't really used, but you should copy across just in case. And RPG mod is where all your uh, or where all the RPG mod specific assets go. So all the audio, all the HUDs, all the setup scripts, as well as uh, the encryption is done here. Okay, so once you've done that, if we move back to the FPSC directory and take the latest version of RPG mod, you want to copy across the executable. Uh, your version of the RPG mod will not have the DBA file, that's just something I leave in here for admin purposes, but your version will not have that. You've also got the latest version of the user manual, which I recommend you at least copy across and read if you ever have any problems, because there are a lot of tips and hints in, in that document that should help you out. Okay, so copy across the executable, it will wipe over your FPSC game, uh, which the editor will trigger later on, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through that. Um, you should copy across the script bank folder into your script bank, which is located here. Okay, and there are various RPG mod example scripts in here. 
which I'll show you. Clear playing trail, uh, the hunger, the scroll compass, the Xbox buttons, uh, and the hunger and thirst scripts. Okay, Fa fairly simple scripts, but they're included there. And there are also some additional files for your RPG underscore mod images folder. So these are just for the full compass bar. So this is for the scrolling compass, that's all. Okay, the final thing you need to do is run your encrypt setup files and put in uh, the name. So what we'll do is we'll type in sample game folder and hit enter a number of times and it encrypts the setup files. You then need to go into rpg.ini and change this value to 1. If you leave it at zero, you do not need to do the encryption. Uh, I've just ran through the encryption to show you what it looks like, but you don't need necessarily need to do it. You just need to make sure that the correct name is here and that you have a zero there. Or a one if you've encrypted it, but the encryption is not mandatory. Um, I think that's it, basically. You then run run the editor as you would normally by clicking on the icon. You don't click on um this because this is the game engine basically which the editor will use so you don't click on that you just run fps creator as usual and uh, everything should work uh if all goes to plan um so yeah good luck with that and uh, i hope to see some exciting games coming from you all all right see you later